it certainly makes common sense that if you can find the Achilles heel, the weak spot of their particular cancer and target a treatment towards that, you're going to leave a lot of the normal tissues undamaged. What patients are most afraid of, I think, is uh, the cancer itself. And then they're also always concerned about the toxicity or side effects of the treatment and how damaged are they going to feel, how tired are they going to feel. So the more normal cells that we can leave behind undamaged while we target the cancer cells, the better it's going to be for the patient. So I think this whole process of individualizing treatment is tremendously hopeful for the cancer patients and gives them uh, a vision that the future is going to be better than the present and with less side effects, better cure rates. And even if we can't cure patients, our hope is to turn many common cancers into chronic illnesses where even if the patient cannot be completely cured, I often tell my patients we're trying to keep the lid on your illness for many months or hopefully many years and I think we've made tremendous progress in that direction over the last decade.